What is going on folks? I thought I'd make this video because one of my viewers um, was commenting on my old bump box ultra video from three years ago and he wanted to know how my bump box is three years later and here it is it's working fine um i've had no problems with it uh in within the past three years um i did do some minor upgrades to it and put a bunch of stickers on it and i'll explain to you that right now um one of the first things i ever did was get a better strap um this is a levi's or uh, levy's strap um it's a guitar strap and um it's made for electric guitars, but I thought I'd upgrade to a better strap that the pros use. And took a little bit of time to get it hooked on here, but I did. And it holds up my um, bump box very well. I mean, the bump box is seven pounds. And a lot of guitars are around the, the same weight, maybe even heavier. So this will hold it no problem. Again, I'll throw a link in the description on all these upgraded parts um, and uh, where you can get them so if you want to uh, spice up your bump box ultra um, no problem yeah I got this bump box um, three years ago I got two of them and uh, it was a pre-order and I remember um, using the uh, promo code or uh, pre-order code and I got it for like hundred and sixty dollars and some change um, way back when and um, now you can buy this for like uh, almost 200 a little bit over 200 out the door um, so it gone up in price um, this is advertised as 22 hours back then but now it's only like 12 hours so it's kind of weird I've been able to get um, at full volume I've been able to get um, 18 hours so um, not a bad um, piece of equipment here um, one of the other um, upgrades I did was these um, protector guards here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, they're the ones used for babies to um, put on your furniture. So when you when the babies bump on it, they won't get injured. Um, so I put that on here to protect the corners all around. So, you know, when you bump into this, you don't dent it. So far, I haven't bumped. Uh, when I do bump into things um, like doorways or something, um, it's protected and there's no dents. Um, again, on this Bump Box Ultra, which is the uh, Bump Box Graffiti, a uh, black graffiti, um, put a bunch of stickers on it and made it my own. Um, another um, another um, upgrade I did to this Bump Box Ultra was the volume knob. Um, Quite a bit ago, um, I set this thing down and it hit the curb and the uh, original volume knob um, cracked and broke off. So um, I was drunk that time. So um, I got an electric guitar volume knob, um, a clear one. So when it's dark, this thing lights up even more brighter than the original one. So um, that's one of the other upgrades I got, electric guitar volume knob get the clear one i'll throw the link in the description again on where you can get these um, upgrades slap that right on it fits right on nice and tight um and it won't come off which is nice so um, you get like a pack of like 12 or something or 20 so you have extra um and yeah those are the upgrades i did to this bump box ultra like i said i made it my own um, I added this little basketball keychain, a little uh, angry flower there. Um, let me show you the back. A whole bunch of stickers. And then let me show you the other one that I have here. The regular graffiti. Again, lit, guitar strap. And the, and the baby bumper protector guards and the volume knob and they still work fine every week I am um, I'm bumping this like every week on the bike ride outs and I'm overpowering everybody so it's still an awesome 
a thing to have. I've been bumping it in my house, in my room at work, um, at some parties, um, at social gatherings, and of course at the ride outs. So um, it still bumps, it's really loud. Um, no issues whatsoever three years later, but that's about it. Let me play for you. Obviously I'm using my phone to record so I won't be able to play it through my phone, but I will be able to plug it in here to give you a little taste. auxiliary so you get this bump box ultra auxiliary works on this one no problem um, for the flare 8 the auxiliary is kind of eh. so um best to use Bluetooth Bluetooth works very great on both of these um, bump boxes and this one as well um, let me Demonstrate the other one here for you. Auxiliary in. Mode. problems with it um, still bumps still thumps um, my settings on the bump box ultra I put these little white markings I forgot to mention um, where the lines go so you can actually see what my settings are that's just me um, I like the base has to be all the way up otherwise you won't get the thumpiness of it um, trouble maybe like 75% and you get a good sound um, for 200 bucks, not a bad piece of equipment there. Um, really loud. I mean, if you're looking something to uh, fill up a room, the Bump Box Ultra, no questions about it. Um, obviously not as great as a JBL Boombox or, or a JBL Extreme, but for something louder than your phone, or louder than a JBL Flip 5 or something like that. Um, this is definitely a cool thing to have. It um, harkens back to the retro 80s boombox and um, it's just cool and really nice to have um, to bump music on. I learned so much about hip hop and um, I learned so much about you know speakers as well and what they're called. I know what a tweeter is, I know what a four inch horn is you know, um, but that's going to do it for this video. Um, three years later, the bump box ultra still bumps. Uh, no problems when you take care of it, when I take care of it, when I take care of it. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the bump box ultra. Um, if you have one, if you own one, if you have problems with it, well, sorry for you, but mines have been working, uh, quite a bit. And um, yeah, again, I throw a link in the description on those subtle upgrades to your bump box ultra, um, the strap, the protection guards, and the volume knob. And I'll see you in the next video.